Hey, how's it going everybody? What is the deal? Alright, <clears throat> so we all know I've been talking a lot about the PlayStation experience and how it's coming up. And you might even go as far as saying, hey, no, Joe, you've been hyping this thing up way too much. And I tell you the truth, I, I, I wouldn't disagree, man. I have been talking a lot about it, but, you know, I've been really excited to see uh, what Sony's going to be showing. This is, I believe, the first PlayStation Experience event. This is the first of its kind. Uh, that there's probably going to be more after that. But I'm just saying, hey, what can I say? I prefer my PlayStation. Uh, you know, it's pretty close. If I had a choice between the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, it'd be pretty darn close. But what drives me to the PlayStation are my two favorite games that I like to play uh, a lot on the PlayStation. That's Last of Us and Kills on Shadowfall. And I'm, the reason why I'm so hyped up for so many games is because uh, ever since the PlayStation 2, my favorite games have always been on the PlayStation consoles. Uh, the only one that ever convinced me where I liked the other system better was the N64. I thought the N64 was better than the PlayStation 1, but ever since the PlayStation 2, uh, my favorite games just so happen to be on there. Um, not any fanboy stuff, I'm being legit. Like, every game I I played on the PlayStation at platform has always turned out to be like my favorite. Last generation was Uncharted, generation before that was Metal Gear Solid and the Jack and Daxers, although Metal Gear Solid did end up going to other consoles as well later on, but it was widely known on the PlayStation, you know, Kingdom Hearts was an amazing game. This generation, I didn't play The Last of Us on the PlayStation 3, so Last of Us Remastered was refreshing to me. Uh, that is my favorite game, and I'm a big Killzone fan, I always have been. You know, that's that's one of those games that uh, I enjoy a lot. But anyways, um, this video is going to be about the uh, five big reveals that could happen in the PlayStation event. And this is from the game, this is from Gaming Bolt, and I wouldn't go as far as saying they're completely reliable, but I think the games that they mentioned on this article, um, I think they're pretty, uh, I think they could happen, you know, I don't think they're far off. So I'm just going to name a few of them that they, uh, that they mentioned. Uh, one of them is being, um, the saying that there's possibly going to be a teaser trailer for the Guerrilla Games open world RPG, which I gotta say, judging from the artwork and the screenshots from it, look, uh, they look like a blast. I mean, I wouldn't say that, you know, this is going to equal up to an amazing game. This is just concept art. But at the same time, you know, they're showing the robot dinosaurs. It's going to be open world. Um, Killzone 3 looked a little bit like a cell shaded game. Maybe they're going to make this kind of like a cell shaded slash, you know, realistic open world game. Maybe they'll just improve. Um, I don't think they're going to use the Shadowfall engine. They might. But uh, I think they're just going to improve upon the engine that they use in Killzone 3, which is uh, um, the same engine from Guerrilla Games as always, but just it, it's a little different. And I think uh, for a game that they're going to be using for a more vibrant and uh, contrast, colorful world, you know, the one that kind of like is filled out with a lot of detail, I think they should go with the uh, engine on Killzone 3 and, you know, update it, improve it, kind of like the way DICE did with... Uh, their uh, Frostbite engine. So, uh, uh, Guerrilla Games uh, Horizons, which is called, is uh, one that's named on there. Then obviously, this is a no-given, uh, a no-brainer, actually. Uh, Uncharted 4, Thieves, and uh, there's definitely going to be more information, possibly like a playable, I wouldn't say playable teaser, but like something you can see where somebody's playing it, you know, some early alpha footage. So that was a given. I'm not going to get in too much into that one. I think I, I can speak for everyone that, you know, for a lot of Sony fans that were expecting to see a lot more information on Uncharted 4 and definitely at the next uh, big showing of E3 from Sony. The next title uh, is Sucker Punch. Uh, maybe Sucker Punch is going to come out with a new IP. Maybe they're going to make a new, uh, God, what's, what's the name of that game? Sly Cooper, possibly. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I would like to see a new IP from them. I'm always looking forward to Sony making a new IP. They keep their game fresh. They keep it new. They don't like to, like they like to kind of straff away from Nintendo and uh, Microsoft. 
they like to use the same games kind of and built on that franchise and you know use them as like a crutch sony likes to make new ips and i think uh maybe sucker punch and gorilla games are gonna be those guys that are gonna be making a new ip which um if you guys don't know naughty dog is also looking to make a new ip don't know the name of the game but i've seen some screenshots uh maybe i'll talk about it sometime at the on my next video square enix is possibly going to reveal uh its new console rpg now i don't know what that means that could mean final fantasy 15 that could mean uh kingdom hearts you know that's that's an rpg i don't know what they're going to be announcing um i'm not really getting hyped over square enix because uh i I haven't really been favoring them as a company recently. Uh, well, actually, for the past two years, I haven't really liked them that much. But um, I am, I, I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't kind of happy for a new Kingdom Hearts I've been waiting for a long time. And also, as well as um, a new Final Fantasy game, that, that's going to be awesome. And the last one, I really don't, I haven't heard of it. I, I haven't, uh, this is this is news to me. You guys probably know more about it, but it's a uh, Media Molecules project. Uh, it mentions uh, games like Tearaway Unfold, and it, it's not something I was um, not too familiar with. But sure, I mean, that's not something I would get hyped over. Not something that I even know much about, judging by that screenshot. Um, another news, though, I'm gonna throw in there. Uh, two more things. Uh, everybody's gone to the Rapture. If you've been getting hyped for that game, which I don't know why, because they haven't shown anything. And if, but I, I mean, I'd be a liar if I said I wasn't curious. I really do want to see what the game's all about. And it's also a beautiful looking game. Um, that will not be appearing at the PlayStation Experience. It's already confirmed. The developers on Twitter already confirmed it, and that's how it is. Sorry if you were looking forward to that. Now, Bloodborne will be revealing new and exciting things. This was on JB News, uh, J sorry, JBG News at the PlayStation event that will be showing new stuff. Uh, MLB 15, the show, hits a home run at PlayStation Experience. That's at Push Square. All these links are going to be in the uh, comic section, by the way. But yeah, uh, judging from what I've seen from the Bloodborne, it shows him holding a chain gun. Um, maybe we're going to see new weapons, uh, definitely more enemies, and new environments, maybe a little more colorful level than just such a dark gothic level. Um, but I'm going to be the show. Obviously, you're going to get another good sports game. That's just how it's going to be. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I will have the links in the comment section since the link thing is acting all crazy in the description. But anyways, thank you for taking the time out to watch one of my videos, and you guys have a good day.